Imagination is easy for me. I grew up in a fairy tale where the snow coming through the hole in the roof was a place to dance to the sheer horror of my parents to afford to patch that hole. And in the back of a museum where payment for babysitting, the artist's granddaughter was a Moreau and drinking tea with monks in the Golden Pavilion at Ryoji Temple. And I got to start putting imagination and innovation to work, jolted into the reality of how short life is when I died at the age of 15. The fear of living was gone. It was replaced by a fear of not living to the fullest and in a way that gets me back to that light at the end of that tunnel. I feel closest to that light helping others and have been honored to give back to women, individuals, business owners, and those who have gone on to help myriads of other women. Imagine the women of Cheatham Place, a public housing community in Germantown. Their kids may not get a Christmas meal or be Salvation Army angels. They're neighbors to a wealthy, gated community who ignores and even fears them. I imagined, and I used social media and online payments to d gather donations and volunteers, bring presents and food and Santa. I exposed those wealthy neighbors quietly as servers, while the Cheatham ladies are in the foreground, proud of the blessings that they're bestowing on their community. I imagine breaking down barriers in a Christmas of plenty. Imagine dozens of women-owned business construction subcontractors who needed to be doers and not just networkers to hurdle their businesses over the worst recession to hit their industry in their lifetime. I imagined, and I helped them get marketing and electronic collaboration tools, build grassroots campaigns, and form, or organize credit to form Wink. I imagined an organization that knocks on and literally opens doors to build women-owned businesses in a male-dominated industry. Imagine hundreds of businesses Challenged by reduced income, a faltering economy, with no marketing budgets, forced to cut spending on promoting themselves because the money just isn't there. I imagined, and I built a 13-step process that takes little time and no money using only knowledge of your own ideal customers to target and bring those customers to you. I imagined a way for businesses to be, build sales beyond expectations without expense and without selling, harnessing social media and free technology. Imagine that bright light in that tunnel I experienced when I was young was not a single flame, but the combined glow of many candles that light our path. I imagine and help light those candles, and as those candles ignite even more flames, our paths are illuminated. <laughs>